Hey everyone, so pretty soon I'm going to Bali and I've just been packing today and yesterday so I thought I'd show you all the toiletries and makeup that I'm taking and I know it's quite a lot but you know me, I love my makeup so um, enjoy the video. So the first thing I packed is my MAC makeup wipes. They're really refreshing and I think they'll be really nice. Um, let's open this first. This is a MAC sponge bag that came with this holiday collection. And inside it is all the lipsticks I'm taking. So I'm taking, this is Riri Woo. A nice red. I'm taking Viva Glam, Viva Glam Rihanna 2, which is in this nice gunmetal grey colour. Next is a YSL lipstick. Oh, those first two were by MAC, by the way. This is by YSL, um, and it's the Rouge Volupt formula in number 7 which is Rose Lingerie, and it's just this really soft um, baby pink. It's a gorgeous lipstick, and it's really hydrating and nice to wear. Um, here is another Rihanna from the Riri Hearts MAC collection, and it's in Who's That Chick? Here's a Lime Crime Velveteen in... Black Velvet. It's just a basically liquid to matte lipstick. Here's a Lime Crime lipstick in Coquette. It's just a really nice kind of peachy nude. It's my Holy Grail lipstick. This is the um, Riri Woo Lip Pencil from MAC. Here's another Lime Crime lipstick. It's in Delilac, which is basically a true lilac lavender shade. Then there's this um, clickable... Oh! Ah! Slippery. Um, this um, MAC Sheen Supreme Lip Gloss Tint in Glorious Intent. And it's one of those ones you twist up and then it has like a kind of pen like applicator a bit like kind of that YSL highlighter everyone likes then I got one lip gloss which is the MAC Rihanna Viva Glam 2 lip gloss which matches the lipstick and I also have last thing in here is um Raspberry Swirl which is a cream sheen it was from the Baking Beauties collection. It's limited edition. And it is just this really pretty um, bright baby pink colour. A, a bit like the Viva Glam Gaga colour. All the MAC um, lipsticks there are limited edition. And all the um, Lime Crime and YSL are permanent. I'm bringing my um, hair curler. It's just, it's got a clip on it, but I don't use it. I basically just use it as, like, um, the wands they have. The next sponge bag is the makeup I'll be wearing the day I travel up. I just have it so I can reapply it. Um, I have it in my little backpack that I'm taking the carry-on. All there is is this new, I got a new foundation for going away. It's by MAC, it's the Studio Fix, and it's in NW10. I love when I get new powders, they look so pretty. It's just got a little sponge applicator underneath, but I don't really use them. To apply that, I use the MAC Kelly Osborne Buffing Brush. Then I have my Holy Grail Lip Balm, it's the Dior Lip Glow uh, Color Reviver Balm and it just looks like that basically. It's really nice. It's very expensive but I think it's really worth it. Um, here is another unopened product. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the Dip Pole 
dip brow pomade in medium brown. Um, here's what it looks like. It's basically like a gel eyeliner except for your brows. And I've heard so many good things about it, so I'm really keen to try it. The brush I'm going to be using to apply that is the MAC 266 um, Angled uh, Liner Brush, which I've had for ages. It was, it was like the first brush I ever got from MAC. Then the lipstick I'll be wearing on the way up is my only non-limited edition MAC lipstick I'm taking, and it's Snob. It's just this really nice dusky, dusty rose colour. Um, and the last thing I'm going to take wear on the day is my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in, I think that says Radiant Rose. Yeah. Sorry, it's a really hard, like, um, camera angle I've got here. Yesterday with my friend Eliza, she was here, and we filmed a video on what I'm taking to, um, Bali. Uh, like all my clothes and stuff but then like for some reason in my complete idiot stage I just woke up and I deleted it I don't even want, know why I did it I don't know I think I thought I had two copies of it on my phone but I didn't no idea why I did that now in this little sponge bag is my hair hair ties and jewelry so I have this Black Velvet Scrunchie, that's by American Apparel. I have this White Velvet Scrunchie, and I got that from Lane Ridges. I have this pink bow with like a alligator style clip on the back, which I got that from uh, Diva, I think. Um, I have this cute little um, blue bow, which has like little... Um, gold well faux gold of course just gold color metal um clips on the bottom and it's by the brand revival they sell that at maya and it has an alligator style clip as well um i got a few just like normal black hair ties i've got one of these um nice like fabric hair ties that i find are really good they don't like um tear out your hair or anything um i have another scrunchie which is by american apparel as well and it's um like faded blue denim and i have my hairbrush which is a travel size tangle teaser and i find the travel size ones actually cost more than the um full size but i find it's a bit better than the full size because it has a thing at the back that stops it from scratching a handbag and then these are the bristles, um, kind of all different lengths, but they, it really stops your hair getting pulled out by it. And for earrings, I've got these cute, um, purple M&M ones and these really cute, uh, like strawberry wafer biscuit ones, which I got from the Rockabilly Market in Sydney. Um, as for other jewellery... I have one of these, like, I think they're called tattoo chokers. Um, they're like this. Yep. Stretchy ones. And then I got two more necklaces to take. This, um, ooh, this, like, carved wooden heart, which is from Jai hi or something it's in um mavis lane in off liverpool street in hobart but they're like handmade by this guy and they're so beautiful um and then my like tasselly metal necklace that's from sports girl so that's all in this bag <sighs> so the next bag is this one which is like pretty cool because you mm, unroll it and you like hang it up by this hook like a coat hanger and it has four compartments and two of the compartments are like on velcro so they're detachable but it's really strong velcro so they don't like fall out or anything just like 
surprise, motherfucker. They don't just fall out like that. Okay, so this is going to take a while to go through. So basically, I'm not going to talk about all the products um, in great detail. I'm just going to basically go through them really quickly. Um, this is the Riri Hearts MAC um, Blasher Bronzer Duo. Oh, you can see me. Hello. Um, oh, where's the button? There we go. So it's just got this really nice corally peachy coloured um, blush and this bronzer and then a mirror. Um, the next thing is by NARS. It's the um, Casino Bronzer. It basically looks like this. It has a little plastic cover and it's this colour. Hey. Um, it's, I would say it's way better than the Laguna that everyone else loves. It, I just really like it. Um, here is a brow comb thing, a spoolie kind of thing. Here is a Mineralized Skinnish, Skinnish, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, and it's in Light Scapade, if you can read that. It's just this really gorgeous pale kind of marbled effect. It's got blue through it, orange, white, and it's just really gorgeous as a highlighter. Um, here's my brow quad I use. It's meant to be eyeshadow. It's just Revlon Color Stay in 500 Addictive Intoxiquant. Um, next is my MAC foundation. It's in NW10. It's the um, Studio Fix Fluid. I also have the Studio Fix Powder in the same colour. Um, this is by Benefit. It's the High Brow. It's basically like a brow highlighter in a pencil kind of form, which is nice. Um, this is my MAC Brow Set in clear, even though it looks brown. It was clear when I bought it. Here's my um, MAC Conceal and Correct Palette in light. And a... Uh, my posy tint from Benefit, which I thought would be good for travelling because you can use it as a blush and you can also use it as a lip tint. And that's all the face products. Now for eye products. Oh, so here is my liquid eyeliner. It's by Ico. It's called Visual Eyes, which I think is a clever pun. Um... It just has one of these, like, stick things, and you just, woo, it's like a kind of brush. Um, I got this today, actually, in the post from my mum. She got it from Sephora, I think. Or maybe she got it from Maya, I'm not sure. Um, here's my limited edition Antonio um, MAC palette. It's really good for travelling, because it's got um, six different colours, and that's carbon. And the rest are just like other random colours. And it's got a tiny little brush, which is actually quite a good brush. And it's got a big mirror in it. Then the other eyeshadow I'm taking is by Kelly Osborne from MAC. And it is the Bloody, Bloody Brilliant Quad. And it just has a shimmery white, a lilac, a pale brown and a plum colour. The next thing I have in here is, this is an eyeliner in the colour Teddy from MAC. This is an eyeliner from, um, where is it from? Rimmel London Soft Coal and it's in white, just for the waterline kind of. That's what it looks like. Here's what I use for my inner corner. Um like my tear duct of my eye and brow highlight sometimes by Napoleon Purtis and it's one of their little pigment loose eye dust they call them and it's in Ice Storm. My three mascaras I use at the moment are MAC Studio Sculpt Lash, Longcomb Grandiose and Benefit They're Real in the travel size. This is my just normal black gel eyeliner by L'Oreal Paris in 
in the colour one black. Um, here's a paint pot by Mac in the shade Painterly. I just use that as a primer. This is just a um, pencil sharpener for my eye pencils. And here's a really nice Mac oh, Mac um, eyeshadow. It's one of the Pro Long Wear ones, and it's in One to Watch, I think. Yeah, One to Watch. And then, oh, for brushes, this is an eyebrow spoolie, which is handy. I actually went and washed all my brushes, especially yesterday for my holiday. I'm just going to show you my brushes like this. Just, eh, these are the eye ones. I'll, I'll put details down below, so... I just don't want this video to go for like two hours. And here is all my face brushes. Basically the only brands of brushes I ever buy are Napoleon Purtis Mac and Real Techniques. So I think I might have one random one. And I have no idea where I got this from. Um, it's just been in my collection like since I was like 10. So I don't know. There's this empty. The last thing I'm going to go through, it looks quite big, this bag, but it's actually not got that much in it because most things that in there are pretty massive. So, first is my um, Tangle Teaser um, for the shower. It's a special like one for brushing your hair when it's wet. It's really gentle on your hair. This is my L'Octane um, repairing oil for my hair. It smells like musk sticks. It's really awesome. Here's my MAC Cleanse Off Oil just for removing makeup. Um, here's my just my two medicated nasal sprays. Um, I'm bringing just uh, two tubes of hair dye. Let me find them. One's by Bright Organics and the other one's by Fudge. And they're just in case I need to top up my hair colour while I'm over there. Um, this is from the body shop and it's a gingerbread body lotion. Um, here's my toothbrush. Um, my MAC strobe liquid lotion. MAC fix plus spray. Chanel Chance um, Eau Tourne Body Mist. My Kerastase Conditioner in um, Reflection K. Um, my Fudge Clean Blonde um, Conditioner. My MAC Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. Snow Fairy Shower Gel by Lush. Long Calm Dream Tone um, Correcting Dark Spot Corrector in um, number two. Some deodorant. This is my favourite deodorant of all time. It's by Mitchum and it's clinical. And, oh, here's a, a lip palette from MAC. Viva Glam with um it's called Viva Glamorous lip palette. It's a Christmas limited edition and it has six lip colours in it, the six permanent ones. Um then here we have a uh, Long Con Genifique U Advance um use activating eye cream, which I've talked about before. Santa's lip scrub, which is just a lip scrub, and couple of razors so I can shave over there. But pants and then in case I get any cuts or decide to get a tattoo in the spare of the moment. <laughs> and lastly, a toothpaste. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. Um, love you all. Bye.